doing a roadside motor mount change. <laughs> the slime trail of the Volvo. <laughs> yeah. Do a motor mount. So yeah. So you can kind of see it's smashed into itself. It should. It should look like this. But it looks like that. So after using a lug wrench as a breaker bar, we finally got the last pulled off. Anyway, it's not all smashed in on itself, it's not too bad. And really, this is probably one of the easier motor mounts to really do just because you just have to remove a tire and that's it. And then part of the inner well, tire well. It's just four bolts, really. It's beat. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it still has near 40,000 on it. Uh, had your garage and, or who, who was that they used silicone to fill in their motor mounts? I forgot who it was. Yeah. <laughs> this is what it should look like. Yeah. You <laughs> mean it's just a motor mount, nothing special. But at least uh, this will make your ride a lot better. When it's actually together, it's just two 15 millimeter bolts on the top attached to the motor and two 17s on the frame. So, booyah. It's definitely a lot straighter. That's like what, for maybe 20 minutes of work? Yeah. A lot better, it'll improve it a lot too. Sure, probably needs a few newer ones too, but. This is a good start though. Yeah, a lot better than it was. $500 on the kids and even pass. A couple hundred, right? If that? Yeah, it's probably like $600 now. After all the fuel injector cleaner and shit I put in it. Just 